Malik Jaziri, our final match of the day. So the two players out onto court, just a little later than they would have expected. Malik Jaziri up against Marcus Willis a couple of years ago. His time when he came to the public awareness, really, in Britain, through to play Roger Federer in the third round. Head or tail, sir? Head or tail? Head? Malik's going to call it. Head. You know, it's a tell. Uh, I'll start. I'll start. You sir? Yeah. Everyone. Good luck, mate. Malik Jaziri ranked number 61 in the world against Marcus Willis, ranked number 828 in the world at present. So on paper, Malik Jaziri starts a, a minor favourite in this one, but. Marcus Willis does like playing on grass, got knocked out in the second rounds of qualification for the qualification. Beaten by Dan Evans. And uh, certainly raised some questions about whether Dan Evans should have been in that particular draw. Ball in slough. Marcus Willis from just down the road, but it is... Malik Jaziri, 34 years of age, that we will take a look at first. Born in Bizet in Tunisia, now resides in the capital, Tunis. Stands at 1 meter 85 tall. Win-loss ratio so far this year of 17 and 13. Turn pro back in 2003, so in his 15th year on the tour and his most recent action on grass came at both Halle and Schertengebosch. He was knocked out in the second round at Schertengebosch by Stefanos Tsitsipas after knocking out Max Purcell in the opening round. Lost in the opening round in Halle up against Matthew Ebden. Love 6-6-7, six, six, the final score. Started his season taking part in Doha, beaten by Aliash Bedne in the opening round, then lost in the second round in Australia after defeating Salvatore Caruso in the opening match in five sets, lost to Gilles Muller in five in round two. He's had a smattering of second round appearances on both the 250s and the Challenger Tour. Did well in Dubai in the... 500 series there, got through to the semi-finals, defeating Grigor Dimitrov in the first round, Robin Hasse in the second, and Tsitsipas in the quarter-finals before going down to Roberto Batista Agut in the semi-finals. That was his best performance so far this season. Won the title in Qingjing in China. That was a challenger before heading back to play in Marrakesh, losing in the quarter-finals to Carl Edmund. Marcus Willis, well, he came to everyone's attention, of course, as I was saying a few years ago with his performance at Wimbledon. So far this season, it's been a relatively quiet season indeed. Played in a few F1 and F2 tournaments. Those are the levels below the Challenger Series. Made the quarterfinals in Glasgow. Knocked out in the first round in Loughborough. Went on to Shrewsbury, where he was knocked out in the second round. Went to Leon in Mexico to play on the hard courts there. 
lost in the second round of qualifying against Gonzalo Escobar and then returned to Britain to play in Nottingham. Knocked out in the first round of qualifying there against Bryden Klein, his compatriot, 1-6-3-6 on that occasion. Really been struggling for some form, but he can always look back, the 27-year-old, to a couple of years ago when he made it through to the second round at Wimbledon after coming through qualifying, beating Yuichi Sugita, Andrei Rublev and Danny Medvedev, and then overcoming Ricardas Barankis in the first round, ranked number 54 in the world at the time before losing in straight sets to Roger Federer. Attempted to come through qualifying to Wimbledon a couple of other occasions, but never quite making it into the main draw. Ted Watts sitting in the chair for this one. Malik Jaziri, first made an appearance at Wimbledon back in 2012, knocked out in the second round by Philip Kohlschreiber on that occasion, didn't come through qualifying a year later, did manage to get across the qualifying hurdle in 2014, lost in the first round though to Gael Monfils, the temperature dropping here in the evening at Stoke Park, down to 25 degrees as Two the sun minutes. starts to set. Last few appearances for Jaziri at Wimbledon in 2016 and 2017 have ended in the first round, beaten by America's Steve Johnson in straight sets in 2016. He was defeated by the Frenchman Luca Puy a year ago, having taken the opening set, went down in four. One minute. Ladies and gentlemen, this match will be played over two tiebreak sets with a 10-point match tiebreak. Final match then of day two at the Boodles 2018. Marcus Willis of Great Britain up against Malik Jaziri. So two players make their way out to court. Marcus Willis won the top to and first. elected to serve first. Left-hander, of course. How's he going to fare? 15 lock. Very long. Good start for a Willis.
Chance for a love service game then for Marcus Willis, which will certainly give him some confidence. Game, Willis. Marcus Willis with exactly the start he would have been hoping for. Flick down by Jaziri. Well. Be quite content with the way he started. Certainly not on return of serve, but at least on serve. <laughs> Just long. Push wide, so a bit of a gift there. That was poor execution from Jaziri. He didn't really go for it. Should have responded at least with a bit more of a, a full tilt backhand. Jaziri holds, Jaziri. not as convincingly as Marcus Willis, but hold all the same. Originally scheduled to be playing Taylor Fritz in the final game of today, but Fritz got elevated into the match against Juan Martin Del Potro. Very entertaining match that was too, the second one on court here. Delpo coming through in the end in the match breaker. Opened up for Jaziri once again. Poor execution from the Tunisian. Great volley. Lovely touch. Left himself open to that. Jaziri passes for the first time. First point, he's won on the Willis serve. Oh. 
That was a good return. Made Willis have to bend down low and he can't control the backhand volley. As a consequence, first chance here for Jaziri on the Willis serve, 30 all. Dragged him out wide, passes with ease, break point chance. 30, 40. Enough on that little chipped backhand return. Great forehand pass for the break point chance. Juice. A serve brings us back to Juice though. Got in, played a very deft volley there, Willis. Advantage, Willis. And that goes hey, wide. Willis. So Willis survives, defends his first break point, and then comes through. On serve, then, in the early exchanges, 2 1. To Marcus Willis. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Rather comfortable start to this game for Jitsiri. Game points. Jaziri cruises through another relatively simple game there. Mm. 
Below 15. Good serve, just catching the chalk. Well played. Jaziri getting in to play that important volley. 15, oh. Play the ball, please. Thanks. Good serve. Jaziri can't control the return. Forty, thirty. Couple of points in a row there for Marcus Willis, and he now has game point. Opens up for Jaziri. He slots home the pass once again. Earns himself his second break point of the match. First of this game. Marcus Willis found a really good swinging serve out wide last time. He tries to go down the middle on this occasion. Great oh. shot from Jaziri. Yeah, just asked too much of Willis. He can't control the half volley. It goes wide. Three leaves, three and it is Malik Jaziri who gets the break of serve in the opening set. The first break of serve, that is, to lead 3 2. Marcus Willis back out on court needs to try and find some form of opening on the Jaziri serve. Jaziri looking to press home his advantage in this opening set. Defence up until that point, just one shot too many being required from Marcus Willis.
30-50. One back for Willis. Just wide. Forty thirty. Needed to get that back. Game. Jaziri. Jaziri confirms that break of serve. Then he leads four two in this opening set. He'd set it up so well with the backhand Very slice low. into the bottom corner. A couple of game points for Marcus Willis to ensure it's just the one break of serve that Jaziri stays ahead in this opening set. sure that he gets in to play that serve volley game. Precious here he misses with the backhand. And it stays just the one break of serve in the Tunisian's favour. He leads four games to three. For Marcus Willis, obviously, there's an issue with something in his right eye. Not sure whether it's an insect. Tried washing it out. Time. Jaziri already out on court, ready to get us underway.
15 love. Another ace from Jaziri to get us underway. Great disguise on that forehand. 30 love. Double fault from Jaziri gets Marcus Willis on the board in this eighth game. First double of the match as well. Chops down over that ball, and it's two game points for the 5 3 lead. Game, Jazeera. So Jazeera leads 5 3. Jazeera leads 5 3. Marcus Willis to serve to stay in the opening set. Fifteen low. Out. Off the top of the net. Thirty low. But just wide. Gets the line. And 40 low. Game, Willis. So it's a love service game from Marcus Willis. He released five games to four. However, first. is he going to be able to find a break in the next Malik Taziri game? That's what he needs to stay alive in set one. Time. Fifteen low. Marcus Willis really needs to try and find some pressure on Malik Jaziri. Even if he's just chipping it back, just needs to make the Tunisian play some more shots. Better tries to anticipate and then a little Seriously thumbs up love. there as Marcus Willis guesses the wrong direction. And it's two points now, separating Jaziri from this opening set. <laughs> Lovely serve, Oli. Forty love. And three set points. Yeah. 
game for a set. Jizuri. Malik Jaziri with a love service game to take the six opening games set. Six to games to four. four. Marcus Willis really hasn't put that much pressure on the Tunisian when he's been at the service line. They exchange a friendly word as they cross over for the sit down in between sets. Marcus Willis helps himself to another bottle of water. So six for the final score, eight aces from Marcus Willis needs to keep that percentage up there and he needs to increase his first serve percentage because winning 14 from 20 there, just six from 10 on second serve. Jaziri, well, he's the only man to have created some breakpoint chances. He's converted one out of the two. Second serve. Present, he'll be quite content with the way things are going. Players ready for the start of set two. Going to be Willis to serve. Fifteen. Definitely not the start Willis wanted. Fifteen all. Finds a much better serve on that second point, putting the pressure on Jaziri. Good dipping return. And Willis has been having some trouble converting those. They're testing volleys, and he's missed too many of them. Doesn't make any mistake with that one. Serial. Forty thirty. Second serve just catches the line. Game point. wide Willis. Second okay. serve ace Seconds. from Willis change of ends then Marcus Willis hold serve Jaziri to open his account then in set number two. Net for serve. Bit of a lazy start to this second set. Oh. 
15 all. Thirty fifty. Ow. Forty fifteen. Good soft volley, oh, and Jerry. Willis can't quite get into it, so it's a hold for Jaziri at the One start of set number two. Love fifteen. He's got the luck off the net cord, Love which 30. takes the ball away from Willis, and he sends an opportunity coming here for Jaziri. Love 30 now. Fifteen thirty. First one clawed back. Forty. Outstanding shot this from Jaziri going at full tilt cross court. It wasn't a bad effort there from Willis, but he did leave himself open for that one to be bent back in. Jaziri then colliding with one of the line judges. Double break point chance. Just long That's with 30, the first. 40. Back to juice. To ten aces now. Will there be another chance? Advantage Willis. Willis with a game point coming back well here from 1540 down. <laughs> Net. Yes,
Gary Willis. Willis manages to hold from 15.40 down. Willis leads to An important games hold for Marcus Willis. Set. Leads by two games to one. We're on serve in the second. Time. Fifteen love. Thirty well, love was a very deep serve. Marcus Willis questions the chair umpire there and says. Sure, that wasn't long. Forty love. Chance for a love service game again. Pressure applied there by Willis. 40, Got him well behind that, and it definitely distracted Jaziri. Pressure again tells from Jaziri, so he's back to two games all. Two now, games all. It followed a very similar pattern in the first set. We saw Jaziri get some breakpoint chances on the second Willis service game, fail to convert, but then break Willis in the fifth game of the set. Will we see a repeat pattern here? Fifteen love. Willis sends Jaziri the wrong way. Love. Another ace. Marcus Willis, so he's finally enjoying himself out there. Forty love. Back to back aces. Chance for a love service game. trying to get the crowd to respond to him as well. A love Willis service leads. game for Marcus Willis. Leads. We stay on serve in the second set. Willis leading 
time. Just long. It was Vivian. one poor shot selection in that rally from Marcus Willis. It ended up costing him. Some real force. So she loves. Forty love. Good solid serve down the tee again from Jaziri. Chance for another love service game for the Tunisian to bring us back to three games all. Action play from Willis on the other side of the net. 40 -50. Fantastic volley, and what a reach that was. Too good. Jaziri reads perfect. it perfectly. It'll be new balls for Marcus Willis to serve. He's Three only picked up nine or... points on the Jaziri serve so far. Hasn't got any break no point opportunities in, either, Thank but you. he's going to need to try and create some. <laughs> Jaziri leading by a set. Three all on serve at the moment in set number two. miss from Willis Lost on the opening the point he berates the net don't think it was their fault Jaziri made it down the line was the obvious option. He felt that Willis was anticipating that. Tried to come back cross court and misses. Back to 30 all. Jaziri had opportunities the last time Willis served from this end. Can he create another one here? Well, 
40, off the top of the net cord. Game point Willis for a 4-3 lead. Right on the line. Juice. Back to Juice. Poor judgment from Marcus Willis on that occasion. Advantage Willis. Another ace from Marcus Willis to bring up game point again. Game Willis. Marcus Willis with another hold. Willis leads four games to three. Leads four games to three in this second set. Time. Fifteen. Let the ball, please. Thanks. Thank you. Strong play from Jazeera. Marcus Willis has got to do better on chances like that, and he knows it. Second serve, straight into the net. Forty, fifteen. Excellent power from Jaziri. Service did look as it was pushing the bounds of long. Couple of game points for four all in the second set. Wind getting up here. Nice return. 40, 30. Boxed Jaziri into that bottom corner. Net, first serve. 
Clear the ball, please. Thanks. Hey, Jaziri. Well played, Malik Jaziri. He holds four games all. Four games all. Marcus Willis. Well, no, he can't afford to be broken here. How will he respond to that little bit of extra pressure? Looking for a response from the crowd. Enjoying himself. Oh, no. Thank you. Can't disagree with that. Good return from Jaziri. Well, this needs swinging serve now. Go down the middle again. That. Oh, that's a fantastic return from Jaziri. Got well, across to him this time. And it's a glorious pass. That swinging serve and just the block return. That drifts long. And Willis manages to get on the scoreboard. Big point coming up, though. A couple of big points coming up. Could do with another of his booming serves. Gets it out wide, plants the volley home. Back to 30 all. 30 all. Another race from Willis, from Love 30 down to game point. 16 aces now for Marcus Willis. Not a bad effort in just a couple of sets. Not even a couple of sets yet. Another game big serve. Willis. Swung out wide. Willis holds again. Willis leads five games to four, second set. Time. Fifteen long. Jaziri with just a quarter of the amount of aces that Willis has managed so far, but that was his fourth. And that's going to be too good as well. Thirty long.
care of all these things. Forty love. Chance for a love service game. Jaziri. Jaziri ensures five we stay games all square and that we stay on serve in set two. Five games apiece. Love. Well controlled on the volley from Willis again. He really has been, in the most Fresh part, enough. very good at the net. Delicate enough on the touch, and he did have Willis all beaten there. when you celebrate a bit early. Game, Willis. Gets it this time. So, Willis, with six holds of serve. Willis leads six games to five. He ensures that the worst eventuality for him in this second set is a tiebreaker. Willis Keane and jumps up out of the chair. Can he manage to Time. get that break of serve? Looks at the crowd again, looking to get them behind him. Jaziri still hasn't given up a break point chance to Willis in the entire match. Will he start now? Fifteen love. Looks unlikely, judging by that return of serve from Marcus Willis. He was pretty disgusted with himself for not landing it back in. Thirty love. It's a volley punched away. Jaziri two points away from taking us to the breakup. Great angle. Forty love. Not 
chance for another love service game. The Malik Jaziri. Very low indeed. It is a breaker then to decide. Six game two. All, seven set. Tiebreak. Marcus Willis having to do his own cheerleading to get some of the crowd going behind him. Bottom corner, a bit of defibrillation seems to have gone on. Oh, oh it's yeah. set up for him. Yes. And Willis manages to get that opening point. Every single point now, I'm sure, will be cheered on raucously. So they're going to take that first serve again, although Marcus Willis got a racket to it. Blazed that one long. Two zero, Willis. Bit of a let off for Marcus Willis getting the previous point replayed. Two one, Willis. That one slides out wide, though. So Jaziri, one mini breakdown in this breaker at present. Three one, Willis. Good serve from Willis. And another. Finds the big serves. Into a 4-1 lead. Now, if he can get one of the next couple of points from Jaziri, he's going to be in a really good position to take us into a match breakup. Makes it. Change of ends. Marcus Willis leads five points to one. 5-1, Willis. <laughs> Bit of showboating from Jaziri on the, the volley, and it, well, ended up costing him. wide six and it is one, five Willis. set points for Marcus Willis what has been an absolutely shambolic tie break played by Jaziri credit where it's due though Marcus seven, Willis seven, has seven, taken one. full advantage seven, seven points to one we go into a match breaker to decide who emerges victorious Third one of the day. Stats are on the set. Eight aces to two. Willis outshining Jaziri once again in that department and not really improving his first serve percentage, but Jaziri's really plummeting down to just 50% and winning 11 of 17 on the second serve. Although there weren't any breaks of serve, Jaziri with the only two chances. Willis infinitely superior in the break at winning it seven points to one. So a match break to decide this.
One zero. This time, Jaziri does put the body away. And a little more emphatically than perhaps he tried to in that breakup. Two zero, Jaziri. Jaziri. The first couple of points now. Big serve this one for Marcus Willis. Doesn't want to fall a double mini breakdown. Yet second serve. And he doesn't and two on. swinging Gizzi. second serve there, which Jaziri can't control. Net for serve. Shadows lengthen on centre court here at Over. Stoke Park. Thank you. Oh, good enough. Reads it, and then wrong foot. Shaziri with the pass That's down the line. line. Glorious backhand, that one. The net cord, but would have been a clean winner without it. So on serve. <laughs> it's uh, first change of ends, three points apiece. Too strong. Three, Great three. return of serve from Jaziri. Punch of the fist as he goes that mini break up again. Balls down, please. So immediately the mini break undone. We go to four all. Take a lot off the second serve, which gave Willis a real chance and a read on it. So 5 4, Jaziri. Good swinger. Five all.
wasn't quite good enough with the volley and Jaziri passes 6-5 Jaziri so another mini break to the good the Tunisian but he's never been able to back it up moments ago had an advantage served a double fault 7-5 an ace to make it 7-5 but the second change of ends now has Jaziri forgotten he's changing ends appears to have done off he heads. Oh, that's a great touch. Willis had done just about everything he could Eight in that point. Jaziri hoists up the lob and opens up a three point advantage. One point here on the Willis serve, and he'll have match points. Jaziri tried to wrong foot him and hoist the lob over the top, but Willis stayed in position. Plants the backhand down the line. Left himself open. Jaziri passes. Brings up three match points. And he'll have two of them on his own serve. There it is. Oh. Malik Jaziri seven, completes nine. victory. Six, four, six, seven. Made some game resistance from Ten, Marcus six. Willis, especially in that second set. But in the end, the player who's ranked over 750 places higher than Marcus Willis on the World Tour does come through to win. I'll come back to you, Malik. Thank you, Ted. Great job as usual. Marcus, first, let's get to the, to the hard-hitting questions first. How's your insect bite? Yeah, it's getting a bit better. I'm on the old antibiotics, so... Uh... Yeah, I'm just going to tell the crowd, you got bitten at, um, at your barbecue a few days ago, and you thought it was nothing, complained to the family, and it's swollen up really quite badly, hasn't it? So, we'll get, yeah, another R for him, after three, one, two, three. Oh. On antibiotics, but um, you, you're feeling all right? Yeah, I'm feeling okay, yeah. Good stuff. Great to have you here. Um, wonderful to have you here. You were here last year as well. I want to take you back to 2016 and playing against Roger Federer because we love to reminisce, don't we? You beat Ricardo Barankis in the first round after coming through six rounds of qualifiers. You were brilliant. Uh, your then-to-be wife was, uh, was watching. Did that kind of seal the deal? I think so, yeah. I must have done it. Uh, playing against Roger, what, what was it like walking out onto centre court with him? Quite scary, actually. It wasn't, wasn't too much fun when I was six love down either, but um, turned out all right in the end and didn't get beaten too well, I did, but... Did it... OK. Did it feel like walking out here at Boodles with this glorious, beautiful crowd in front of you? Not quite the same atmosphere. It's, it's obviously a lot more busy here and, uh, yeah. Great. So tell us about what you're doing at the moment. You're going to be playing some tennis with Naomi Brody, is that right? Yeah, I've just come back from injury. I've had sort of six months off, so I'm just slowly getting back into it and... Um, playing World Team Tennis out in the States for three weeks, starting on the 15th of July. Excellent. And uh, playing with Naomi, is it for a month? It lasts for a month? Yeah, just about a month. So, uh, yeah. Well, we will always all be supporting you. We can check all the scores on the internet. Give Marcus Willis a round of applause, ladies and gents. Great to have him here. And we look forward to, to following his career. Malik, quick word with you. Welcome to Boodles. It, I don't know, is this your first time? I've not been told. 
Yeah, uh, hello. hello. <laughs> yeah. Great to have you here. Yeah, thank you very much. I really enjoyed uh, coming here. It's my first time. I'm really impressed. Amazing place. A lot of history here, so I'm happy to be part of a few guys. Oh, that's lovely. Have you seen the jewellery, some of the jewellery on display in the gallery? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I, I've been told if you purchase, purchase some, you instantaneously become more attractive to the opposite sex. <laughs> I don't know about that. Tell us about your season. You reached your first ATP Tour, uh, World Tour final this season. You've been playing some great tennis. How, how's the confidence going into Wimbledon? Yeah, it's getting better. I think uh, I win a few good matches this year. I, uh, I made semi-final in ATP uh, in Dubai, 500, uh, as well in uh, Istanbul, uh, final as well in ATP. So I win a few good matches this year. So um, come this year Wimbledon with uh, confidence and uh, hopefully I'll enjoy uh, on playing on grass. So so we'll see. Hopefully you will share for me there. Yeah, I'm sure there will be a lot of support for you next week. And hopefully you'll stay around. It'll be your seventh Wimbledon, taking part in your seventh Wimbledon. Do you like, do you like England? You, I think you have to say yes now. Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, amazing. It looks like, like you, uh, I bring sun with me from Tunisia. So uh, hopefully you will, you will visit us in Tunisia and uh, you, will you will enjoy the... Thank you. You've definitely got some fans over there. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, please, for Malek Jaziri and Marcus Willis. Brilliant to have you with us. And that concludes the, the day's play. Uh, we have another brilliant day tomorrow, day three of the Boodle. So we hope to see some of you back tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening and safe journey home. And uh, if you are singing around, so there are the final statistics from that match. Malik Jaziri coming through in the end, 10 points to six in the match breaker. After it ended one set all, Marcus Willis managing to come through the breaker in the second. Statistically, well, plenty to hold on to for Marcus Willis before he heads off to America to play his tennis in the coming month. Malik Jaziri, well, he'll be at Wimbledon and he certainly had a bit of a workout there on the grass. So that concludes our coverage from Day two here at Stoke Park. Make sure you join us on day three, but from day two with those lengthening shadows here on the centre court. It's good night. Better not, you six. Ladies and gentlemen,